Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about iron deficiency anemia. So iron deficiency anemia is the most common cause of anemia worldwide. Going to the iron deficiency anemia, firstly we will discuss about the normal iron metabolism. So normal iron metabolism consists of iron absorption, firstly from the food, then the iron is absorbed goes into the plasma where it binds to a protein known as transferrin. Then there is incorporation of the iron from the transferrin into the erythroblasts and, uh, and some of the iron which is in excess it gets stored also. So we will firstly discuss about the absorption of iron and then uh, after discussing the normal iron metabolism we will discuss about iron deficiency anemia. So going to the absorption of iron. Uh, the iron from the diet, the ferric form of the iron from the diet is uh, converted into ferrous form with the help of an enzyme known as ferric reductase which is present on the enterocytes. So inter uh, from the, the ferrous form is now transported into the enterocyte with the help of DMT1. This is the divalent uh, metal transporter 1. Now this transports the ferrous form inside. The ferrous form which is in excess it gets converted into ferritin however the other which is needed from the uh, for the body it is uh, transported into the plasma now the in plasma the ferrous form again converts itself into ferric form now this ferric form binds to a glycoprotein known as transferrin and the, this transferrin it binds to the iron and then it takes it to the required areas now going to the transport of the iron, we understood that the plasma it is transported with the help of transferrin. But the one molecule of the transferrin it can carry two atoms of the iron, and uh, this will take the iron to the erythroblast in the bone marrow, where this will be uh, incorporated into the heme portion of the hemoglobin. Now what is TIBC? There is something known as TIBC which we will uh, uh, see later on also. This is the total iron binding capacity. Uh, it refers to the iron binding sites of the trans, uh, circulating transferrin. So the free iron binding sites which are present in the circulating transferrin, this is the TIBC. So in case of iron deficiency anemia, as the iron binding sites, they are available uh, for binding of iron but the iron is uh, less in the body so TIBC it increases in the case of uh, iron deficiency anemia now going to the storage of iron now the iron is stored in form of two parts ferritin and hemocytrin and whenever the iron deficiency anemia is there firstly the iron stores they are depleted first step is depletion of iron stores so uh, the ferritin level will be less in case of iron deficiency anemia. Okay, uh, going to what is hemocytrin? Now, hemocytrin is also uh, ferritin only, but in which the apoferritin part is removed. Now, uh, the hemocytrin it uh, is mostly present in the mononuclear phagocyte system. That means in the macrophages which are present in the bone marrow, liver, and spleen. Going to the laboratory features in case of iron deficiency anemia. So firstly, before understanding the laboratory features, we should understand that firstly there is depletion of iron stores whenever there is a deficiency. Then there is decrease in the transport iron. And then the iron which is required for erythropoiesis, they will, it will be not present. Then there will be anemia. But this anemia in which uh, uh, RBC morphology will be normal. The, it will be normocytic, normochromic type of anemia. Then microcytosis will take place in which the RBC size will decrease. And lastly, the anemia, which is characteristic of uh, is very uh, characteristic of iron deficiency anemia, microcytic hypochromic anemia will be there. So uh, whenever a patient of iron deficiency anemia it uh, is there, uh, firstly we go for CBC. That is the complete blood count in which we will find the hemoglobin is less. Then in the peripheral blood examination, we will find that the initially, uh, if the patient has initially uh, now only caught the iron deficiency anemia, uh, the picture will be normocytic normochromic. However, in the later stages, uh, there will be microcytosis, there will be hypochromia. We can see over here, this cell, it is microcytic. It is a very small cell. This is a small RTC. And also we can see the central pallor, it has increased, there is hypochromia also. 
uh, with that there is also variation in the size and shape of the cell there we can see the shape of the cell it varies this cell this is a pencil cell okay we can see over here this is a teardrop cell so such cells are also seen in case of severe iron deficiency anemia now going to the red blood cell indices so uh, to understand this i have a separate video also you can uh, watch what is mcv what is mch so uh, in case of iron deficiency anemia there is a reduction of mcv uh, there is a reduction in the size that means there is de de uh, decrease in the hemoglobinization there is decrease in mch mchc then there is a uh, increase in rdw rdw uh, suggests the variation in the size and shape of the RDC. So, a combination of low MCV and a high RDW is very uh, good screening test for iron deficiency anemia. Going to the bone marrow examination, we rarely require any bone marrow in case of iron deficiency anemia. But what is the picture? There are micronormoplasts. Like in, uh, in PBF, there is microcytic cell. In case of uh, erythroblasts, we will find micronormoplasts. Also, hemoglobinization of uh, the cytoplasm is defective because there is no hemoglobin formation. There is decreased amount of hemoglobin formation. However, the WBCs and the platelets, they are normal. The lines, the granulocytic series, the megakaryocytic series, they are normal. And uh, one more thing is important, there is a stain known as pearl Prussian blue stain, which we do for uh, uh, checking the iron in the uh, bone marrow slide. So there is absence of stainable iron in case of this. And it is a very uh, nice test to do for iron deficiency anemia. So in this picture, this is a picture of bone marrow. We can find this, this is a micronormoblast. And also we can find the uh, cytoplasm, it is. it has a bluish hue. That means the hemoglobinization is defective. Going to the stages of iron deficiency anemia and along with the laboratory features, firstly there is depletion of the iron storage. So in this what will happen is the bone marrow iron stores, if we do the pearl stain it will be absent. The serum ferritin will be also low because the storage iron is decreasing. However, other parameters, they will be normal. There will be no hypochromia, MCV will be normal, hemoglobin will be normal, transferrin will be normally saturated with iron. However, second is the iron deficient erythropoiesis stage in which uh, the stores are already low. But now what happens, the RBC morphology is also normal till this time. Okay, but the hemoglobin starts decreasing, the transferrin saturation, that means the transferrin is being saturated with iron now, so iron uh, is decreased, so trans there is no saturation, there is decrease in saturation of transferrin, then there is also increase in TIBC, that the uh, total iron binding capacity is increased. Lastly, there is iron deficiency anemia. In this case, we have every feature which is present. We have uh, stores are low, TABC is increased and also now RBC morphology, it has changed. There is microcytosis and there is hypochromia also present. So to make a diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia, what we require is firstly, the hemoglobin is low in this case, the indices, they are low, the RDW is high, then there is microcytosis and hypochromia on the blood smear, there is low serum ferritin level, that is the storage uh, level, the ferritin is decreased, there is low serum iron level, the transferrin saturation is low and however the TIBC is increased because the capacity to bind iron is there. So there is increased TABC and lastly on bone marrow what we will find is there will be micronormoblasts which will have a defective hemoglobinization and there will be absence of stainable iron on the pearl stain. So this was about the diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia. We are not discussing the differential of uh, iron deficiency anemia that is the thalassemia, the sideroblastic anemia, anemia of chronic disorders. It's all we are not discussing in this uh, video because I will discuss the, uh, those topics one by one and then we will go to the DD. Uh, this was all about the iron deficiency anemia. You can ask me any queries in about this in the description box. Thanks. Thank you.